Hey guys, so testing out the A7C with the 11mm 1.8 since I sold the ZBE 10 with the Zion M3S. It is a little shaky, so it is <laughs> vibrating pretty heavily on my hand, but I did want to test the fact whether or not this thing also had that Yeah, the Zion is really not that stable as I want it to be. That's why we do this test, right? Yeah, so it seems like it's having a hard time keeping up. Yeah, everything seems to be unlocked, fortunately. This thing is not stable. Let's see if it will reset. reset. Yep. Still the same problem. Vibrating quite heavily in front. But it's not comfortable with this thing. I think it has to do with uh, torque. Probably with this other torque because I had this problem when I was setting up the uh, XS20. I had to switch the torque. So let me see if I can on the fly change the torque. Uh, So let's see if that solves the issue. Yeah, seems like it's not vibrating anymore. That's good. It's more comfortable holding this thing out at this point. Yeah, this thing is just up to aperture 16. And uh, shutter speeds moving between 125 and 200. Not bad. Yeah, so solve the torque issue. Again, so I need to fix that. But it looks like. Oh, I'm also shooting in 4K because I don't know if it's line skipped or not on uh, APS-C Super 35 mode. If it is. I will definitely know, looking back at the footage, but it's also going to take a longer time for it to process through YouTube. I won't get that hour or two. It's going to take much longer yes. to do it. Yeah, and definitely hold it off like that. I'm using the shotgun Sony mic as well because I know this thing doesn't have unidirectional uh, options to switch the mic to words. So, this will probably tell me whether or not to sell the A7C and get the C700 or would this suffice without me making a new purchase. But then again, this is 8-bit and 10-bit is preferred with s lock 3 but yeah, if this does, then that saves me another $1,400, right? I don't have to worry about it. And also I can use the lens, at least in daytime. I do have to do further testing uh, during nighttime, because I don't know uh, noise is going to be an issue. If it's not, it's not. It's looking good. The skies are blue. And it 
Yeah, I do get that torquey feeling. The design, you, but yeah, it isn't that bad when you set it too low. Maybe firmware. Again, everybody, magic word, firmware updates, but yeah, they'll never come. So that's another defect with the Zion M3S. Uh, well, yeah, I was able to get a lot of things to Robert's camera, I guess. And yeah, they give you the coat. And if you send it in that condition and they receive it in that con condition, I have no problems with them or issues. They said this is the coat, send it over, and five cameras later, no issues at all. Uh, also getting rid of some of, of the washes from the collection. Uh, most of the stuff that I'm going to put up are on sale at the moment, I guess. But by the time they get up, it will all be sold, so no ethical issues right there. And if not, yeah, you know these are all well-known uh, bits and pieces. Uh, so it's not like I'm selling something new. If you want to grab them, if you don't want them, leave them. I don't mind either way. It's just that I have way too many things now to store at a New York City apartment, which is an inconvenience of itself. Yeah, probably gonna lose a lot of money, but it is what it is. But I'm just gonna gain some money if I don't know we have, right? So, same. Winners, winners. Nice day. Look for the weather. I was unexpecting it. It said it was below 80 this morning and about to get above 80 during the afternoon and also tomorrow so I guess I, like I took the opportunity to get out there before it does get too hot it is still too hot I think it's it was 74 this morning but now it's getting up there 78 79 so I am going to turn back and get to doing the short test. It's more of a test for me to keep this thing and also for you guys to decide whether or not if you want to have this 11 millimeters on the A7S, I'm sorry, A7C. I know the A7C2 might be coming out, but it might have a little bit uh, wider body than, the, than this one first mark a7c but hopefully they in integrate that front uh, wheel like they did with the 6700 and I believe that's basically what's going to be happening with the 6700 you'll get the same body as 6700 but with the full frame sensor and I bet Sony's going to raise the price up probably $1,800 or maybe 1999 depending on what they do. But the price, the A6700, is the same price as currently A66. So we might just go looking and get an upgrade without an additional cost. Uh, yeah, that's a win-win. If that's the case, and if it's a little size different then I might just actually get rid of the A7C and get, get the A7C2 just because of the 10 bit. It is so convenient when you're actually editing the items. Not that bad at all. Just one click, lower the highlights, maybe lower the shadows too or increase the shadows and boom, you're good to go. At least that's how I set up the process to be. With S-Log, C-Log, V-Log, all these logs. One click and you're good to go. Just, you just have to adjust the, the highlights, definitely the highlights. 
because I shoot a log, everything seems it's blown out, but I have to bring it down while it looks like it's too bright. Yeah, so the time is 11.15 on a sunny Broadway Astoria. <laughs> And the 11 millimeters, you get the same equivalence of a 16 millimeter. So I can pull it up this far and almost get the same value as the 14. What the? It's not as heavy as the 14. So kudos to that. Probably 14 is what you want to use at low light conditions. But yeah, going through this, show me if this also has that same issue with uh, shifting of colors but changing of eyes so I don't think so the ZV1 has the same issues but quite lightly and probably don't see this as a problem on this setup either yeah. I guess people are waking up 12 o'clock, getting their lunch, that's good, all right, that should show the front and back lit environments using this setup. 